Well, we are off and running in this new year, 2015, and well, 2014 will go down as a rather dry year. We ended up uh, the year about five inches below normal in terms of precipitation, so uh, a bit on the dry side. Hopefully, we'll make up for it maybe in this new year of 2015. 31 degrees if you're heading out around 7 o'clock uh, this evening, 29 degrees at 9 o'clock, and 11 o'clock will be you're down to 28. Uh, it will be dry. We're not expecting any precipitation as we uh, head throughout the nighttime hours. For tomorrow, we'll see a dry day with clouds uh, increasing as we head into the afternoon. Noon hours will start in the lower 20s, but warm into the mid 30s, seasonable for this time of the year. Here's a look at Live Doppler 2 HD. We are dry here in uh, the Miami Valley. The scan uh, not picking up uh, any precipitation at all, but it is uh, quite different off to our south and southwest. Look at the uh, very heavy rainfall there over Arkansas, uh, Louisiana, parts of Tennessee, and then over uh, central Texas. It is freezing rain. They are under a winter storm warning. This is all the beginning of a developing storm system, which will have a big impact on our weather here in the Miami Valley as we head into and through the weekend. Our numbers for today, the first day of the year, 37 degrees the high, pretty close to the average of 35, 19 the morning low, the average is 21, and a dry day there at uh, Dayton International and all across the Miami Valley for that matter. The Gym City uh, skies right now are partly cloudy. We have 34 degrees. Uh, winds are out of the west and southwest at 16, so that gives us a wind chill of 24 degrees. The dew point right now at 19. I think we'll see temperatures probably kind of uh, hang out in the lower 20s uh, during the overnight hours, so not quite so cold as what we saw this morning at 19 degrees. Temperatures range anywhere from 29 at Bell Fountain and Salina to 35 degrees in Springboro, so most folks in the uh, low to mid 30s across the area. Well, again, hope you had a great uh, first day of the year. Uh, big changes on the way as we head into the weekend. It will be wild, in fact. I've got rain, maybe even some thunderstorms on Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening. It's going to be uh, mild, high temperatures in the mid 50s on Saturday, but plunging temperatures on Sunday it will be very windy and we could very well see some snow showers or flurries on Sunday. And beyond that, it will be brutally cold next week. Highs in the teens, lows in the single digits, maybe even below zero. And an Alberta clipper may bring some accumulating snow to our area as we head into Monday night, late and into the day on Tuesday. So a very busy next to several days. Here's a look at the satellite radar composite. Cold front off to our north. That cold air will stay bottled up at least for another couple of days off to our north. But we are watching this developing storm over uh, northern Mexico that will move across Texas and eventually uh, begin to edge uh, closer to us here in the Miami Valley. So we'll be dry tonight, uh, dry tomorrow, but late tomorrow night and into the day on Saturday. That's when we begin to see maybe a little sleet, freezing rain, a late tomorrow night, and then rain on Saturday and potentially uh, some heavy rain. It will be dry again throughout the day tomorrow. We'll see increasing clouds as we head into the afternoon, but after mid Midnight. Again, we may see a little sleet and freezing rain followed by all rain as temperatures warm into the mid 50s. The potential does exist for some heavy rain on Saturday and maybe even some uh, thunderstorms Saturday afternoon and Saturday evening. Tonight, though, dropping down to 23 degrees, partly cloudy sky, so not quite so cold. Tonight, we'll be at a seasonably warm 35 tomorrow, uh, Friday, under partly sunny skies. And here is a look at that seven day forecast. So, Robert, you may want to cover your eyes when you uh, notice those temperatures for next week. And again, we're going to be watching the potential for some accumulating snow Monday night late into Tuesday. A little clipper system that could bring maybe a couple of inches, three inches of snow. Those are the early indications, but we'll uh, update the forecast between now and then. You know, I had to open my eyes eventually. Did not expect the <laughs> like, single uh, digits. Oh, there. no. God, and we surprise. may even go below zero, so that might turn out to be conservative. Definitely a chilly start to the year. Uh, yeah.